Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to crochet knotted double crochet. Um, I'm gonna use the pattern taken out of this new crochet stitch dictionary book. And this pattern is worked in any kind of number of stitches. However, don't forget to chain extra two stitches because at the end you're gonna start your row into second chain from the hook. So I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're gonna lose two stitches now because we're not gonna go into this next chain. We're gonna go into the second chain from the hook. So to make a double crochet, you go yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over again, pull through, yarn over again. You're going to pull through these two stitches on the hook and you're going to pull through one more time. To make another double crochet, I'll show you. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through. Now you have one, two, three chains on your hook. You're gonna go yarn over again, pull through two, pull through two. This is regular double crochet. For this particular pattern, we're gonna be doing knotted double crochet. And to make a knotted double crochet, we're gonna go yarn over into the second chain from the hook, insert the hook, pull through, and you're gonna pull the same loop through the first loop that you have on your hook. And you're gonna go yarn over again and pull through two. This creates this little knot here. Let's do it again. Yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over again, and then you're gonna go right away, insert into this next loop that you have on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Let's do it again. Yarn over, insert the hook, Pull the yarn through, pull it through the first loop that you have on your hook, and then pull through two. And this creates these kind of twisted knots. And then we're gonna finish up this row. Trying to remember that these are not regular double crochets. So they're, they're worked a little bit differently. Okay, and I just have two more left here, and my last one, oop, I messed this one up, I wanted to make, to make it like a regular double crochet, so through the same one, and we're gonna chain two. Usually for double crocheting, at the end of the row you chain three, but because the knotted double crochets are a little bit smaller or shorter. Two chains at the end should be plenty sufficient. Okay, let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we lost two chains, right? Because we chained 12, we're gonna lose two. So just something to keep in mind for your pattern. Okay, we're gonna turn. And we're gonna insert the hook right into this first opening here. And we should have again 10 knotted double crochets at the end. Yarn over, we're gonna insert the hook into the first opening, yarn over again. And remember, this is not regular double crochet. So we're gonna go through this first loop, yarn over again, through two, yarn over, now into this next little hole here that we have, that's your next stitch. See, that's your loop here, that's your stitch. These are front loops, these are back loops. You work through the openings. So I have my yarn over, insert the hook, and yarn over again, pull through. Immediately you go 
through that first loop, yarn over through two. Okay, let's finish up this row. This pattern is so easy to work while you're watching your favorite show. You don't have to think much about it. It's just a repeat of the same stitch. All right, my last one. Oh, wanted to make a regular double crochet. It's just a habit by this point. All right. One, two at the end. Let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And then let's just make another row so we can see what kind of pattern this creates. Again. Um, yarn over you're gonna work into this first loop that you just chained two into okay and immediately work through that first loop that you have on your hook to create that knot this is just a dryer sending me a song <laughs> that the clothes are done washing Okay, just a couple more stitches here. Done drying, not done washing, I should say. Okay, last one. Let's just make sure I haven't missed anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And we're gonna chain one and two. And this is the pattern. That's what it looks like. So it is not the same as you would make your half double crochets, right? But it's also not the same as you were to make your double crochets. It just makes for a little bit different pattern here. And again, these were the knotted double crochet stitches. I hope this helps.